Okay guys, Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. Your Wi-Fi is connected in your phone but when you try to access your internet, not your even your browser and any of your app, uh, internet application is not working. You don't have uh, access to the internet. How do you fix that? Okay guys, you can see over here, it's a uh, settings. You have to open the setting page and somewhere it's gonna say the application different phone has a different arrangement so somewhere you're gonna access a list of application so, so try to access a list of application so when you access the list of application somewhere you're gonna find setting so here's uh, some application manager so check somewhere settings okay so, okay here on the so I didn't find settings over here so somewhat try to access a different folder somewhere it might find uh, settings there are these many folders so here you can see it's all in the list of all application somewhere wants to be settings it is arranged in alphabetical order so go to letter S yes. where is yes it is the settings when you click on settings uh, you can get access to the setting page try to clear the case and somewhere you find our stories so you can just uh, clear the case clear the data so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted this includes all the file settings that you have done database and everything so before you do it you can read it once you have done it I can go back to same application and you are gonna access it So try to access uh, list of applications okay not in the default application is the application manager again go to settings it's settings and then now you'll just uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data now you'll force stop it so what you guys gonna do just force stop it click on ok done with the force stop now what you gonna do just restart your device now you're gonna check it out see if this method is working Ok guys, you're gonna open the Wi-Fi settings, you're gonna go to setting and you're gonna open the Wi-Fi network setting. The easy way is, on the top you have a Wi-Fi network symbol, tap it for a long and you're gonna see this space. So select your Wi-Fi network, tap it for a few seconds and you're gonna see this option. Click on manage network setting. Now on the top you can see 192.168.100. So you can note down first three value 192.168.1. So you may be uh, 10 instead of 1. Your third value may be 100 or something else. So you're going to note down first three value. So mine is 192.168.1. Change the DHCP to a statistic. Now you can see. You're going to enter over here, IP address 192.168.1. Three values should be as it is. Third value you can change. Third value you can change from 100 to 101, 102, 103, 104. If it is 10, you can change it to 11, 12, 13, 14. If it is uh, something like 18, 19, 20 or 30, you can change it to 31, 32, 33. Just make a little bit changes. Now come down. Your gateway should be 192.168.1.1. So leave it as it is your gateway so the gateway should be like a, you can say first three value 192168 dot so your gateway might be like 100.1 or 200 sorry guys it should it might be 
200.1 or it might be your gateway might be like 10.1 so the first three value do not change the last value should be 1 for gateway so never change first three value now the DNS you just have to delete it and you can see it is given here you can put 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Now DNS2, you can see, leave it as it is, or you can just put as it is 8.8.4.4. Okay, now everything is fine. Click on save. Now you can see it's connecting, connected. Now try to browse your internet. Make sure it is working. If it do not work, tap it again for a few seconds. Click on manage network setting. So this time, so you'll just make a slight uh, changes in the IP address. So DNS address, uh, you just make a little bit changes. So try to put in a DNS address one. So remove DNS address two. It should be empty. In DNS address one, we had eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. So four value all over eight 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 eight. Change it to one nine two one six eight and one dot one. So we'll put the DS one as 192.168.1.1 and then click on save. So this will also connect your network. Now try to browse the internet and see if it is working. Okay, so you're gonna open the setting in your phone and then so somewhere so different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna check for updates. In my phone it's a about device. And here it is on the top itself software update in some point in the setting page itself in the on the top you'll find a system update and all of this stuff so somewhere you're gonna find update or you can search manually on the search in setting now click on update now it will check for updates and install all necessary updates sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem the last update has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, open the setting inside your phone and you're gonna find developer option. You do not find developer option anywhere. You're gonna go to about device and then you're gonna see the build number. You can tap it for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see developer mode has been enabled. Go back now. Now you're gonna search for developer option. You're gonna find over here developer option. Click on developer option. Come down. And somewhere setting related to network. So somewhere you're going to find uh, it's a use legacy DHCP client. So if you find somewhere uh, it's a DHCP use legacy DHCP client then you're going to have to enable it. So every phone do not have this uh, DHCP legacy client. So if you do not see anywhere use uh, DHCP legacy client in your phone say so skip it or if you have to that particular option use DHCP legacy client in your phone you just have to enable that DHCP legacy client and restart your phone and check it out okay guys so you're gonna find setting in your phone and open the setting inside setting somewhere you're gonna find backup and reset different phone has a different arrangement even you can search over here at the on the top on the search you can make a source for backup and reset or you can just make a source for network setting reset and all this so in my phone here i have inside additional setting so in some phone you'll find it on the top itself here i have a backup and reset so when you open the backup and reset you're going to see at the bottom here i have a network setting reset when i click on that here you have an option for the network setting reset this will reset all your network setting including wi-fi mobile data and bluetooth 
So before you continue, different font has a different arrangement. So read it before you continue. So it will reset all your password and everything. So just below the page at the bottom, here you have a reset setting. Click on that. It can ask you to enter the pattern. Now it can ask you whether you want to reset. So click on OK after reading it. Now you can see network setting has been reset and when you go to the Wi-Fi it can ask you for the password again. So re-enter the password, try to connect and then check it out. Open the keypad. You're gonna type a star has zero zero one one and has. You're gonna see this. Click on more. Go to Wi-Fi. And now you're gonna see this. I scroll down. And you can see here you have an option. You're gonna press. Here is Wi-Fi power save mode. Turn it off. Let's turn it off. Done. Now go back and restart your device. After restart, you're gonna check it out.